Good morning, folks. Podunk Picker here. And today, yes, as I pull out of my driveway and try not to hit my neighbor's fence, we are going on a trip to do some thrifting. And we also are going to be doing possibly some garage sailing if we come across it. But unlike other trips that I've gone on, this one is gonna be 50 miles away and we are going over the border. We will be going in at his number one thrift store, Value Village, which is like Savers in the United States. And we'll also be going to a St. Vinny's that I've been to before in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Yes, that's how you say it. Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, or as we call it, the Sioux. There are two of them, one in the United States and one in Canada, uh, the Twin Sioux, and uh, we'll hopefully find some great stuff. Now, I did not go on Marketplace and look for any garage sales. Because I had difficulty when I tried one day. So, we are gonna just go and see what we find. That's what I did back in the 90s when I used to go over there and go garage selling, is we would just find it and there it is. So we're gonna have an adventure today and it'll be a lot of fun and it'll probably be multiple uh, videos. Wow, traffic is really backed up coming in the United States. Hopefully on the way back, it's not like that. Wow, it's really slow. This is crazy. Most of the people are coming into the United States. bridge between Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan and Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Head north. Continue on international crossing for one and a half kilometers. All right, we've exchanged some Canadian money. We have some 20s. We have some 5s, 10s. And then this is a Canadian $2 coin called a toonie. And then we have a $1 coin that is called a loonie. And that's some of the Canadian money that we'll be using uh, out thrifting and possibly also if we go to a garage sale or two. So we will try to find some because um, it is Friday and there should be a couple garage sales in Canada here in Sault Ste. Marie. So there it is. Some of you may have never seen Canadian money, so I thought I would show that a little bit. And um, I'm hungry, so we're going to go to Tim Hortons and uh, get some breakfast. Hello. Hello. I'd like a uh, the smoky honey bacon bagel. And then a medium coffee. You want the bagel? Yes, the bagel, yes. Which bagel set do you want? I want everything bagel. We don't have we don't have everything bagel. We do, we do? okay. Just take this. And then a medium coffee. Black. Eight sixteen? Thank you. Yeah, this is sandwich, it's fine. 
So we got Tim Hortons coffee, which I will put in my Yeti. And then we got a delicious bagel sandwich for breakfast with an everything bagel. We will be bringing donuts back for my six year old before we leave the country, but uh, there's my breakfast. I'm excited. On this windy day, we are going into Value Village, Canada's largest thrift store, and one of my favorites. So let's go in and see what kind of fun stuff we can find. Interesting book. Michael Coggin. Like a candy dish. Pretty cool. Remember, that's $5.99 Canadian. Never bought a bobblehead. Yeah. Ooh, wait. Wow. Well, I guess we're buying a bobblehead. I've never bought a bobblehead. Five ninety nine. That's a good deal. I better lay him down. I'm going to go. Oh. I have this uncanny thing finding chickens. Every place I go, I find a chicken. Is this the Maltese Falcon? Hmm? I don't know. Could be. That's cool. Must have held spoons or something. Look at that thing. Boy, is that fragile. Well, that's a big martini. I don't think you'll get up after that one. You'll be on the ground. They got two of them. Two of those big martini glasses. Christie's Ceramics. That's $10. I bet you that's worth it. I'm gonna get that. That's cool. That's only $10. That's handmade. Tupperware down there, $6.99. That's $6.99 Canadian. I 
I think everybody knows what this is. This is one of those ice cream makers. You roll around on the ground, make ice cream yourself. Weird. Not sure if you put popcorn in there or not. Thanks for watching my video and please like and subscribe to the channel. Also make some comments, I appreciate that. If you have any on this video where I am thrifting in Canada. And um, this will probably be a two part series because I went to two different thrift stores in the Value Village, I spent a lot of time in there. And um, I'm taking you along on my journey in Canada. So again, please like and subscribe and thank you for being Nine forty nine. Nine bucks. So that's about seven, six, seven dollars. No, I might buy that for myself. This kid. We went there on our honeymoon. I love that place. Do I need more hats? Nope. I'm gonna get it. This one's for me. Too bad they put that charge in there with that junk. Those are good, good pickups. Holes, they can be very, very valuable. You will buy these up. For replacements. That's pretty old. But not incredibly valuable. Red Solo Cup. Yeah, look at all these bags. They put stuff in there together. Random. So the Legos are all behind here now. My guess is somebody walked off with some and So what I'm looking for is a bunch of mini things. Hi, I'd like to look at a couple of the bags here. Let me go with the seatbelt. Well, first of all, I want to know what that is in that bag there with the cables, the RCA. Sure. Is that a, is that a game console or is it a uh, DVD player? This right here, this, what is that? It's hard to tell what it is. The, a, a DVD player. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's got two of them. Yeah, for like the back of your car seats. Yeah. 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 All right. See why you put them back here. People probably walked off with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got a few of those. Yeah, the mini figs probably the most. Yeah. All right. I used to put them up against the back wall. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I was looking for them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we keep them all good. Anyway. Thank you. Looking for them.
Um, can I see the next four? Sure, okay. Are those two uh, maybes? Yes. Okay. Yep, those are maybes. You betcha. Yeah, well, it's kind of going to go down the row here. Hard to tell in the case there what's in them. Yeah. you see random arms in there. Just, yeah, it's just lying around. They probably got it in like a huge bag and then just split up. The yep, thing. oh yeah, it makes sense. Uh, can I see the next four? Sure thing. I'm just gonna be going down a row. Oh yeah, no. Worries. Yeah. yeah. We just put them out the gates to say we get them out. That would be fantastic. I'll have to look at my email uh, discount and see what you guys sent me. Oh, yes. Yeah. My wife reminded me before I left. She goes, look at that. They have a coupon. Yeah, just in case. Just in case, yeah. Oh, that random pig in there. He's not a Lego. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Well, you said like you get him in a bag or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're just taking fistfuls of stuff, put it in there. Oh, I'm gonna spend a lot. I knew I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You can spring the last five out. Yeah. Sure. It looks like there's a bag of Legos on the top, or are those Mega Block. They look um, a little different. I'm not sure. I think they're Mega Legos. Uh, no, these are Mega Blocks. Mega Blocks. Yeah. You can tell by the uh, the figures are different, and then the color of the Legos is where, where the bricks it's are different. Bit off. Yeah, yeah. gets better off. Because my son's got a few of those. Oh, really? Of Mega Blocks. He keeps them separate though. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to get them up in this stuff. Let's throw off any team you're kind of going for. Well, and, and they're just different, you know. Oh, yeah, they won't fit together. Yeah, so. Not very good, no. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was going to buy so many Legos. But I was looking for them when I came in. Yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> and I think that's it. Do I have to leave those up here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're going to keep shopping? Or I'm going to keep shopping. Yes, sir. I'm going to look at clothes now. So yeah, after no I've spent $100. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but I'm going to check that coupon here in a minute. Large. Hemp for paws. <laughs> interesting. That's interesting to find a University of Southern California shirt in Northern Ontario. You just never know what you're going to find. Well, isn't that shirt correct? Bacon makes everything better. Well, this is too cool to leave. Funny thing, it's in my size. I had some stuff out of the case, some Legos. Some Legos? Yeah, that I got out of the case. Okay. Yep. Oh, the guy said you had no, more shopping? Did, no. Okay. No. All right. No, that's fine.
Nope, nope, nope. I don't want that. Cancel. Why is it in French? Now I screwed up. No, that was me. Yeah. And I have, I have a question. It actually went to, oh, here we go. I don't want French. You don't want what? I don't want it to be in French. Oh. Yeah, I'm not up on my French. <laughs> yep. You have to scan all those? Yep. Okay, I, showcase, so good thing I had a coupon in my... Yeah. I was looking for those out there and the guy said that they put them out in there now. I'm yeah. not surprised. Those are easy to like put in your pocket. There you go. Thank you. You have to scan your own items here. Coupon. All right. <laughs> if I scan, did it do it? Oh, it did. We just saved fifteen dollars. Continue. All right. Since we're going to another thrift store, I don't want to use all my cash here. This oh, we got a discount on something. I don't care. That's cool. Pay. No bags. We got bags. No, I already did the coupon. Take your receipt. Bag your stuff. Okay, so this is probably the most I've ever spent at this store in a long time. Maybe I spent 50, 60 bucks. So I spent $109.44 at Savers in Canada. And uh, that's probably when you convert it, probably about $70. I got a couple shirts that maybe I'm going to keep for myself. The Legos, I bought a lot of Legos. And uh, those are, I'm going to go through those. And those Legos, I'm going to probably end up uh, parting them out. Finding out the ones that are most expensive and taking them out. Probably about $5 or less a bag is what I got them for. And um, in some of them were very old uh, Playmobil figures. And those sell pretty good. We've gotten here before in those bags, uh, uh, Savers, Value Village, sorry, we're in Canada. At Value Village, we would get, um, from the 70s, there would be Playmobil toys in there. And those are really, have some value to them. And um, there were several of them there. Their heads were, the hair was missing or the hat was missing, but it's probably in the bag. So those are pretty cool finds. There were some old Legos in there. You kind of know when you when you look in there. If you know anything about Legos, you kind of know that there's old ones in there and that's what I was looking for when I was looking through the bags. Um, and then at checkout, well, apparently the people before me were French speaking and the, the, the I hit the French button or something. So I was able to get out, which was nice, but uh, my French is very rusty from high school, so. All right, well, hey, we're gonna go to the store and uh, say goodbye to Value Village where we spent over $100 Canadian. And then we're gonna go find St. Vincent de Paul. I do have a couple other stores that I need to stop at um, because this is the largest city near us and it's not in the United States, but it is in Canada. And so there are things that I can't get where I live or so I come to Canada once in a while and buy them. The other place we're gonna go is Dollarama. If you've never been in one of those, that is the best dollar store on the planet. Um, the coolest one. And this is crazy, but behind me is another one about 
two blocks away, not even that. So I'm gonna go in there, I need to buy some things, and um, then we're gonna go and probably get lunch. Um, and then we're gonna go to the St. Vincent de Paul, which is very cheap thrift store.